Hey y'all, hey, welcome back to my channel. I'm actually going to take you with me behind the scenes as I do this installation on site. I am going to be doing four custom balloon columns and this is for a black history celebration. So stay tuned for this colorful design. Right, all four of my three footer latex toppers are ready. And you will notice that I've used a flattened 260 as my tying point. Make sure that your 260 is always beneath the knot and then make sure you triple tie it in a knot. All right, we're all ready to get started. Okay, so my base is prepped. I have my cover so that we can hide the paver and it's color coordinated to go with the design. And it also protects the balloons from rubbing up against that uh, rough paver so the balloons don't pop. So this design consists of the black history colors, the typical num numbers. The typical colors are red, green, yellow, and black. So my design is going to have three rows of 11 inch rounds. So the bottom base is going to be 11 inch red inflated to approximately 10 inches. And then I'm going to, on the next layer, have a quad of green 11 inch rounds inflated to approximately eight inches. And then the top layer will be 11 inch yellow rounds inflated to approximately six inches. And then the middle will be five inch rounds and we're gonna do a spiral. And then we're going to do the top to match with the bottom three rows of 11 inch rounds. So let's get started. So here's my 11 inch round and I'm going to start at the bottom and I'm going to wrap this around twice just to be sure that it is really secure. Okay. And then the next one is going to be the 11 inch. This is spring green and it's inflated to approximately eight inches. And then the top row will be 11 inch yellow inflated to approximately six inches. Okay. And then we're gonna work our way up with our 11 inch rounds. But before I do that, I just wanna get a rough estimate because I don't remember from my design approximately how many 11 inch rounds I'll need. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna temporarily place this top row just so I can get a guesstimation as to how many 11 inch rounds I'm gonna need. So I'm just putting it around the pole without locking it in. This is a placeholder, so to speak. Give me a rough estimate. I'm gonna do a quick, just one little twist. I have a feeling I might have inflated more than I need, which is not a big deal. I can, uh, because of the way that I tie, I will show you a video on that. I can untie them and, and deflate them. I didn't look up my recipe because I was in a rush. So I really don't remember. I looked, I looked at a picture, but the um, three rows are a little bit different sizing than the last time I did this design. 
So we'll see. All right. So that's my placeholder. So I'm going to now do the middle, which is going to be my five inch rounds. Inflate, you can inflate to three or four inches. That's your choice. So I have those pre inflated already. So I have a bag of the 11 inch rounds. Colorful. And this is going to be a spiral. Okay. And this bag that I have is a recycling bag. I like clear bags. And then the other bag with the 11 inch rounds is in a mattress bag. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and start with my quad of five inch rounds inflated to approximately three and a half, four inches. <coughs> okay. Keep going, and we're gonna do a spiral. So what I do when I do this is I make sure that I match the balloon. Let's see, oops. Match the balloon, and then twist it one turn to its comfortable spot, and then lock it on. You have to turn, you have to lock it. You have to turn it twice to keep your spiral pattern. Okay, so match the balloon. And so this is matched. And then I turn it one click to my right to find its happy spot. Lock it in place. And you will see the spiral begin to emerge. So match it. in the So, that tells me that that will be enough. I'm going to lock that into place. All right. So, we have two, four, six, eight rows of five inch round which will create a spiral with and now I'll go ahead and remove my placeholders before I do that though I just want to make sure I don't need one more row because I think I might need one more one more row of the spiral I'm gonna try it and see what happens. I think it's gonna be actually, I think it's gonna be actually nine. All right. 
now. As I have put my I'm duplicating the bottom. So I'm going with the 11 inch brown yellows and feed it to approximately six inches. Then we have our spring green 11 inch brown inflated to approximately eight inches. And then I have this, well, you can't see the top. Let me show you guys, sorry. Sorry. All right, so at the top, I've made sure I put on my latex balloon to protect the latex balloon from being popped from the rough edges of the EMT. So to secure that, however, I've used a flattened 260 and I'm gonna also use this. Actually, you can use this to tie in um, that top row or you can use it to tie in your topper but I don't need it for my topper because I've already prepped that so the complete the top of this is our 11 inch I was right and needed one more row so this is a perfect fit and this is the 11 inch red inflated to 10 inches now I wrap that around twice to make sure it's really secure Okay, so let me stand back and give you a look of what that looks like thus far. Voila. Now you can leave it just like that or you can add your topper. And so my topper of choice today is going to be a three footer black balloon to coordinate with our color scheme. Okay, so we are now ready for our topper, which is our 11 inch black three footer. So I'm just going to pull it down and I'm going to take that to 60 that is tied below the knot and I'm going to wrap it around the pole and tie a knot. So that way that if you, if you figure eight it, you can. But if one of these balloons get deflated, um, you have the um, possibility of this coming from the column. But if I wrap it around the pole, then it's pretty secure. And then I can either cut this off, or, it's not tight, tight, you can tell. Or I can figure eight it into the balloon. I'm going to figure eight it this way. Okay? And then I'll let go. And voila! We have our column.